hello viewers hope all of you are doing well and in this video i have brought a very exciting concept and it's a challenge exciting challenge for all of you that is orbit stability under central forces so you are going to try this challenge and after that i'm going to show you a nice trick how to handle such problems and, uh, and solve them in style and do it very quickly you know, very elegant manner all such problems so let's straight away get to the challenge so here it comes so this is the challenge a particle moves in a plane under the action of a force which is always directed towards a point and depends on a distance to that point on the plane as 1 upon r to the power n where n is a constant at what value of n will the motion of the particle along circle be steady so we want that the, the particle moving along the circle should have a steady motion that means if it is given a kick in the outward direction or inward direction it should not spiral all the way outwards so if you want you can give it a try for 5 or 10 minutes pause the video and then get back to it and look at the very elegant method of solving such problems all right so let's now get to the solution so what's the meaning of the stable orbit if the particle is given outward kick it should not spiral out all the way to infinity as i said rather it should try to restore its radius if it is if the radius is becoming bigger it should have a tendency of making it smaller some somewhat like simple harmonic motion so it, that's the meaning of stability or for that matter if it's given an inward kick it should not spiral all the way inwards so that's the meaning of stable orbit so how do we go about doing it ready for the magic so for uh, we can write the energy conservation equation so if the particle is moving along a circle let's say so there will be some tangential velocity and if it's given some outward kick there will be some radial velocity also so here i've written the energy so half mv square in this v is the tangential velocity okay so this is this is the kinetic energy because of tangential velocity remember v is the tangential velocity and then plus half m r dot square so r is the radial distance from the center of the central force so if it is going radially inward or outward there's going to be a velocity component in the radial direction and because of that the kinetic energy term will be half m r dot square okay and plus there is some potential function we are given a central force 1 by r to the power m so obviously we can convert it to an, into a potential function you know that the force function the conservative force function is nothing but the negative derivative of the potential function so the kinetic energy and plus the potential energy should be equal to total energy of the system that is constant so this is the energy equation and then we can also write the angular momentum conservation equation you know that in central force since the forces are passing through the center of the force there is no torque about the center and therefore angular momentum should remain conserved so that means what initially let us say the tangential velocity is v not and the initial radius is r not then initial angular momentum is m v not r not and then let's say if at some other general radius let's say the tangential velocity is v and the radial distance is r so then uh, the tangential because of that the angular momentum will be m v r so we can of course cancel m and we can write v not r not is equal to v r but let it be just like that and then we have one more equation if it's going in circle then of, of course the forces have to be balanced the centrifugal force has to be balanced by the uh, centripetal forces right so we have m v not square by r not is equal to 1 upon r to the power n okay so m v not square by r you know that this is the centrifugal force and this is the force due, due to the conservative um, field that is given that is 1 by r, r not to the power n so so these are the three equations that we can write straight away now now comes the mathematical simplification now the big part is over and now just we need to do a little bit of mathematical simplification what we can do we can eliminate v and r not from equations 1 2 and 3 so you have uh, v coming over here we have a v coming over here and we have an r not coming somewhere over here so if we uh, rather we are just eliminating v not r not uh, so please ignore this r not really sorry for that so we are ignoring v and then uh, we are uh, eliminating not ignoring we are eliminating v and then we are substituting to get the equation one getting transformed in this form half m r dot square plus half uh, this is the expression that you get so you can just try doing maths and you'll get it 
so not a big deal just a little bit of mathematical simplification and now if you look at this expression how does it look so this is a function of r alone okay and this is also a function of r so if you want you can combine the functions of r into a single function of r and you can write this as a single problem in one dimension that is half mr dot square plus u of r is equal to e where what is u i am calling v of r plus this term as u of r so this whole thing is just a function of r and you can see that this looks just like a one dimensional problem there is no theta terms here there's no tangential velocity term over here it's just like as if it's a spring mass system and you're writing half mv square plus half kx square equal to constant something like that now you are over here is not half kr square but it's some other function but let it be so it's just energy conservation equation for a one dimensional problem that's how it looks like okay and now we are all familiar how to do this one and we know that for stable equilibrium it has to be a minima of potential energy and you know that when there it's a minima then the second derivative should be positive so now it's a simple problem now you know the u of r of course v of r you know indirectly because derivative of v of r is 1 by r to the power n that is given so now uh, so this is u uh, this i've just written this term so combining this this is the u r now what do we do now it's a simple problem now for stable equilibrium you know that the second derivative has to be positive for a valley u of r should be representing a valley so now for st stable equilibrium we have written u double dash of r naught that is d square u by dr naught that should be greater than zero and if you do a little bit of math this is what you get the derivatives you just need to dif differentiate the function of u of r that we got on the previous slide so this is what you get and now just simplify and you get the answer what is that n should be less than 3 this is the answer hope all of you liked this video and in future i'll try to bring more such exciting concepts that will help you in your preparation for iit j or uh, olympiads or whatever physics exam you're trying to prepare for and uh, this is a new channel so i want all of you to subscribe like and share so thanks in advance i want to acknowledge you in advance for subscribing liking and sharing thank you all very much see you in the next video